This is question one on the exam from Introduction to Mechanical Engineering uh, 2018. So the question is about converting between different units and the main principle that we need for that throughout is that the units on the left hand side of the equation have to balance the units on the right hand side of the equation. 1a says Newton's law tells us, Newton's second law tells us that F equals ma and we're asked to use this equation to express one Newton in SI base units. So um, what I would do for that is to start out by writing down the equation from the question uh, which is given as F equals ma um, and then um, what we need to say is that tells us that the units on the left hand side of the equation must equal the units on the right hand side of the equation. The units on the right hand side of the equation are that uh, mass is measured in kilograms and acceleration is measured in meters per second per second. Um, and so we can write down, uh, just multiplying all of that through, one newton equals one kilogram meter per second per second. And that's the answer just take a second to clarify that that's my final answer for that part of the problem. Um, so these are the ideas that we're going to use all through the question. The second part of the question is slightly trickier because it involves an equation that hasn't come up in this module to do with viscosity. Uh, F equals mu A and then U over Y and we're told what each of F mu a u and y r and we're asked to derive the units of viscosity mu so what we're going to need to do is to rearrange that equation that we're given um, to get it in terms of mu and if we've got mu on the left hand side and other terms on the right hand side we can find the combined units of the right hand side and those must be the units of viscosity mu so the equation we were given, again just writing it straight off the exam paper, is f equals mu a u over y. Um, if I divide both sides by a, I'll get, I'll do this in stages just um, to make it clear what I'm doing, um, mu times u over y equals f over a. So I've switched the sides around and then divided both sides by A and now I can multiply by Y and divide by U and I'll get mu equals FY over AU. And that means then that the units of mu, the viscosity, are the units of FY over AU. F, we know from earlier on up here, uh, it has units of kilograms meters per second to the minus 2. Y, we're told, is a distance, and distances have units of meters. Uh, a is an area, areas have units of square meters. And U is a speed, and speeds have units of meters per second. Um, following this through, if I gather up all the kilogram terms first, um, I've just got one lot of kilograms on the top line, that's this term here. Meters, I've got meters times meters on the top line, meters squared times meters on the bottom line. Uh, meters squared divided by meters cubed, that gives me. And the seconds terms, I've got seconds to the minus 2 divided by seconds to the minus 1. Um, and that equals kilograms meters to the minus one. So to get meters to the minus one, I subtracted this power from this power, subtract what's on the bottom line from what's on the top line. Following the same principle here, if I subtract this power of minus one from this power of minus two, minus two minus minus one is minus two plus one so that's seconds to the minus one and I'd recommend maybe just taking some time to think about that that last one the division is more complicated you just need to be a bit clued up on how to work with different uh, indices uh, or 
or powers. That's my final answer for the units of mu. Um, okay, so now the, the last part of the question says, uh, using a similar approach to that in part A or otherwise, express one joule in SI base units. So the problem here, we're not given an equation in the question. Um, but what we can do is to think of an equation where there would be joules somewhere involved and then um, use that to solve the problem. And the, the, the equation that I was thinking of, joules are the unit of energy or sometimes when we've dealt with energy in this module we've talked about work um, and so I can say energy equals force times distance. Um, that's work done equals force times distance. That's how forces transfer energy. Um, and so the units of energy, which are joules, they must equal the units of force, which we already know uh, are kilograms meters per second, per second, sorry, uh, kilogram meters seconds to the minus two multiplied by the units of distance which are meters um, and that equals kilograms meters squared seconds to the minus two and that's my final answer so that's the question solved um, one student in the exam had quite a nice approach to part c instead of using uh, work done equals force times distance you can use any equation involving energy and you can if you like use um, Einstein's uh, equation uh, E equals mc squared uh, that will give you that one joule equals one kilogram times one meter per second all squared which equals one kilogram meter squared second to the minus two um, which is the same answer that we got working through from a different equation. So you can use any equation that's true and it should still give you the um, dimensional equivalence that you're looking for. Um, so that's a different way to solve part C. And that is the entire question answered.